Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've never done before, but I bet I've seen loads of other YouTubers do. And that is leaving my sims unpaused for a week. So, very excited today. I've got loads of like famous faces that I know you will know. Um, so let me just press the tick so it's just easier for me to show you everyone. Um, it takes forever to load, I am so so sorry, but I'm so excited to start this challenge. Um, so, why is this taking so long? Right, we've got, on the far end, we've got Nancy Langrab as a child. We've got Bella Goff, who is a teen. And then, ho she is holding Dina, yes, Caliente, <laughs> who is a toddler. Next to her is Agnes Crumplebottom as herself, because she is a queen and doesn't have to be changed. And then we've got um, Eliza Pancakes, who is a teen. Uh, Nina Caliente, who is a toddler. And then we've got my sim self and then Don Lafario as a child. I am so, 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 so excited about this challenge. Basically, if you don't know what it is, you put your sims into, like, um, a house that is filled with death traps. And then you just leave them to their own devices for, like, a full sim week. And then come back and see all the damage that's been done. So, really excited about this. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so voice over here now, hello. Right, so this was such a fun, fun, fun challenge. I adored every single second of this. It was incredible. Um, loads of crazy stuff happened, but I won't get into that quite yet. Um, I have sped it up as well, like after recording, I've sped it up to, I think times four, just because it was stressing me out that things were going so, so, so slowly. Um, it literally took like 16 minutes. You know, it, it was insanity that it was so long, but the video was way too long that I couldn't deal with that. So it might be a little bit jumpy from time to time, but I've slowed down on the important bits and stuff like that. Just because you've got to, haven't you, at this time? You know, you've got to slow down and take a breath. I'm getting really philosophical now, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, oh, I loved it. I loved this video. I loved it. It was so much fun. But nothing really happened for like the first couple of days, like literally everything kind of went fine, the kids were making an absolute mess, but apart from that it was like totally fine, there, there was no really issues as such. Um, one thing that did annoy me that was my own fault, I put three fireplaces in this whole house and I made sure to put rugs under every single one of them, but um, yeah I also made the fatal mistake of putting it in summer. You see now one interesting thing about summer if you didn't know about it summer is when the hot weather is summer is when you don't need to put a fire on <laughs> um so the whole idea of like fires starting and stuff like that went out the window very very quickly i also didn't give them enough money to cook food so they also ran out of money by the end of it which was depressing to be honest it was extremely extremely depressing but um yeah <laughs> Um, at the end of this video, I do give a brief overview of like what I thought as well, which I've recorded prior to this. Like I recorded it through a headset and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> it's like the start, but at the end. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, it was an interesting video, though. I am just going to say that it was definitely interesting. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's very difficult to know what to say. Um, but yeah, <laughs> stressful, definitely stressful. Oh my God. By the end of it, I felt like crying just because it was so difficult to like try and deal with it. Like I've been watching the footage back and stuff and like the way that the first person dies, a little bit of a spoiler there, but it's going to happen in like a couple of seconds anyway. Um, the way that the first person died was so like brutal and it just happened so suddenly. And it's like, if you just went inside, it wouldn't have happened. Um, also, it's thundering and lightning for like most of this, which is absolutely insane. There's just thunder striking every single second. I thought, come on, someone's going to get struck by lightning. Spoiler, they didn't, which was just really boring, to be honest. It's like, I made you to die. Now, please just die. <laughs> I felt so brutal saying stuff like that, but I was upset. I was upset that no one died. Uh, but like I said, no one really did anything in the first couple of days they got very 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 uncomfortable uncomfortable though which was um upsetting definitely but um yeah just nothing really happened 
Uh, they aged up. A lot of the children did age up uh, very prematurely, to be honest. Um, obviously, I didn't have an influence on it. They just kind of came out, aged up and carried on with their lives. So that was exciting. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of new things to say because, like I said, not much happened. But I think something big is about to happen now. Here we go. So, big thing that happened was Eliza burned to death. She was stood outside for way too long, like the absolute idiot that she is. Like I've always said, we stan a Bob Pancakes. Eliza, I'm happy she died in the nicest way possible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, everyone came out and they like, all gathered around her and stuff. But then Grim turned up and he were literally stood there for the rest of the time. He did not leave. Um, even though Eliza died, he didn't take her body away. <laughs> she, he just kind of left it on the front porch and be like, oh yeah, it's your problem now, you deal with it. And it's like, excuse me, just take the body away. We don't want this in our house. But he just wouldn't leave. He was stood like in the far side for like ages and ages and ages. And then eventually he like walks over to her and I was like, oh right, is he finally going to do it? But no, 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 he didn't. I had to cheat her out in the end. I had to like reset her and then she left. But... It, it was really stressful and then like everyone were, like stood around like crying and stuff and like ooh. but um <laughs> yeah so yeah and then nina aged up um which was exciting she got the erratic trait which honestly fits her um <laughs> you know she she is a bit crazy isn't she really um the whole family is we stand bella goff you know you've got to love her what they did to her family was absolutely disrespectful. I'm just saying, we don't like the Caliente family. The Caliente family can all die. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but a little bit of a spoiler there. Again, you know, she, she did die. You know, she's going swimming now. There she is, swimming, 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 swimming. Dead. <laughs> so, you know, fun times. Um, so she was the next to die. And after that, there were no more deaths, which I'm sorry. If you want to click away right now, I don't blame you. More interesting stuff does happen. I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, they were the only two deaths and they happened so soon. And then there were like no more deaths and I was like, excuse me. But um, Agnes Crumper Bottom didn't die. She's like an elder and she didn't die. Like it was, at one point I did get a pop up saying that her days are numbered and stuff. Which may I just say that's such an ominous message. Like her days are numbered. She start, should start thinking about what she wants to do with her life. Why? <laughs> why do you word it like that? It's so horrible and brutal. It's like, why don't you just say, oh, um, her life is coming to an end now or something it's just like no her days are numbered <laughs> okay <laughs> um but yeah she didn't die which i sound really disappointed but i genuinely am i think that's why i sound so upset just because why didn't she die why wasn't that a thing you know it, it upset me um there's literally like three minutes left of this recording now and then i do like an overview where i go over stuff um, because that's what an overview was. I don't know why I had to explain that, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I have looked, like, absolutely terrible today, but I've not been able to work out why that is. And you can't even see me, so <laughs> that's that, I guess. Um, yeah. What's her name? I've completely forgotten her name. Nancy. Nancy is my favourite sim. I love Nancy. She is a queen. We love her. She's like an evil little gremlin. That's why I made her into a child, just because I thought it'd be so, so funny. And like making Nina and Dina into um, toddlers while I made Don Lothario into a child. It was all, it, it had secret meanings to it that I don't think YouTube will let me say. But, um, you know, it's about the whole relationship, about how he cheated on the daughters with the mum. It was, it, he's a bit of a messed up little cookie, isn't he, really? Um, so I don't like Don Lothario. I don't really like him. I never really have. He can honestly go into a bin somewhere. Um, but yeah, he, he, I don't like him. I just, I don't enjoy his company. Um, at one point I was mentoring him halfway through this. Now I was like, no girl, no, get away, get away from him. He'll ruin your life. <laughs> but um, yeah. I, I don't like Don Lothario, um, quite frankly. I don't, I don't think he's a very nice person. And yeah. <laughs> so in a minute, I will be switching back to other me. 
which sounds really ominous to be honest but yeah just I'll be going back in a minute which is exciting <laughs> um but yeah I think that's basically all I have to say now so there might just be a bit of music for a while just while it all goes out and stuff but thank you for watching um on tour for me <laughs>